So, here we are in the Churchill War Rooms, a yes. uh, very special place, and kind of reflects some of the songs on the new album. Well, one of them especially. You are a storyteller. You've got lots and lots of stories inside and still more to come out, I think. Well, some of them won't be coming out, of course. <laughs> you tell stories to your, your youngest, your two youngest, to your boys, don't you? You know, I've got eight children. I think I'm appreciating it more now in old age than I ever did before, <laughs> you know. It, it, I really cherish those moments. Yeah. They don't want to go to bed. Of course they don't, it's, it's just too exciting. Any to excuse up. to stay up. Oh, Dad, I think the house is on fire. <laughs> OK, I'll go. <laughs> but just say anything, anything to get your attention. Anything to get but your attention. But it's true, you probably will be spending a lot more time with them than you, than you did with your other kids when you were growing up, because you were so busy yeah. and away a lot, of course. It's a different, well, it's a different life now. There was a, a point in my career where I was stone broke and owed to $2 million in the early 80s. I had to go and work, I had to earn some money, get myself out of debt. But what I do now is I plan all the tours around um, the, the kids' holidays, which I've never done before. That's really good. So they can be there. Medal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a great idea. I think, though, that you, you really landed on your feet with your Penny, who, of course, we know so well, and she does Loose Women for us, and she does, you know, she's been on the show. You've done well there. Yeah, she's done all right, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's mutual. I'm sure it's mutual. Yeah, of course she's, it is. She's, but, but she is great because you've got a complicated family. Yeah. And yet she seems to have this knack of getting you all together. She literally did bring us all together. Yeah. You know, there was a, you know, from some of the kids when she first came in my, into my life, they obviously thought, oh, money grabber or whatever, mm. and p protecting their dad, of course, which, is, of course. which is quite normal. But she's, uh, she's won them over entirely now. Completely. Really, really, she really has. She's a great, great girl. Is that you then? That's me, me and my sister Mary when I was probably, what, I was about eight months old. God, you're so cute. You've, you've got your hair standing on end. Yeah, it, well, it so always has done. Great memories, great, yeah. great memories. Especially putting it all into context here. But the thing about you is, and that's probably got a lot to do with your upbringing and what we were talking about and the yeah. time it was, yeah. is you're a grafter. It's not about achieving greatness, it's about doing something with your life and mm. feeling you've done a good day's work, no matter what it is when you come home and you, you have your little glass of wine or your cup of tea, whatever. But you've achieved something in the day, and I think that's really important. It's something I pass on to my kids anyway. And especially with this album, because you, I guess you don't have to do it, but you love it, don't you? Oh, man. You I love it. I don't know what I'd do myself if I was in, retired. I, I've got no idea. That word frightens me to death. It really does, because it's... You're right, I was... I was put on this earth to be a rock and roll singer. I mean, look, look at me. Where else could I have been, folks? <laughs> you know, with this nose and this haircut. No. What about Glastonbury? Would you like to go back and do it again? Well, I'd like to do it with the faces. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for that uh, for that invite. There's only three of us left now. We've we've lost, you know, uh, Ian McClagg and of course Ronnie Lane. It would be good to get the old boys together again. I think that's what keeps the passion going with you. You've obviously got clearly got a passion for music. I have, and football, which we said we wouldn't <laughs> talk about. Do you still play? No, the old right knee is given up. I've had to pack it in now because. Uh, you know, I was playing on Sundays and then trying to do a show in Las Vegas Sunday evening and I would literally hobble on the stage <laughs> and say, sorry, took a knock on the knee. You can't really so, do that. No, I can't run sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to do that playing football. You do. Now, you know your pal Ronnie is going to have twins, I believe? Yeah. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. He don't know what's going to happen to him. <laughs> I know. I, mean, I laugh every time I think of it. <laughs> Yeah, and you've been giving him, you have to give him tips. <laughs> I will, yeah. I must admit, it was me and Penny that push, were pushing for them to have children. I'm sure Sally wanted them, but she just, she just needed a spokesman and she got it in me. <laughs> fantastic. So you Come sorted on, it. Ronnie. You sorted it, which is really, oh, that's fantastic. Are you going to have any more, do you think? Or is that no, it? no, no, no. You, you have a few, so it's fine. You yeah, know, you, it's good. And they're all, doing, they're all doing really well, too. Yeah, they are. They're extremely proud of them. I bet you are. So the album is out. And the tour kicks off during the school holidays. <laughs> yeah, during the school holidays. And May we do like Europe, and then June we're doing, uh, I think we're up in Scotland. Loads going Love it. Bring it on. I know, I know. It's, it's what keeps you young. It's yeah, what keeps it you young. It definitely is. It's so good to see you, Rod. Thank you. Oh, thanks, darling. Thank you. Oh, what an angel.